This is the Linus Tech Tips or LTT screwdriver. Now I bought this about six months ago and I initially planned to make a review on it. I filmed all of the B-roll footage from back then going over its features and capabilities, but it's a video I never ended up finishing because I'm not really a creator that covers stuff like that. However, I have had this screwdriver now for six months and I felt it would be an interesting video to talk about how it's held up, what my thoughts are on this product since I've had it. So what we're going to do today is use some of that initial footage that I took, walk you through the features and capabilities, and then I'm going to give you my open and honest six months later. Now, just to be crystal clear, I bought this screwdriver with my own money. When I say my own money, I bought it with the money that I have, that I get from work, that I also get from you, the amazing people that support this channel. I was not, though, sent this screwdriver for free. No one has paid me to make this video. No one has asked me to make this video. And as always, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about this product. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's jump back six months and give you a quick overview of the product itself. And then we'll get on with six months later. So to start, we're going to do a quick unboxing. Now, it does come in this rather unassuming black box, but there is some really nice stuff I like on it, and that is the spot gloss. I actually really love spot gloss on products. You see it on a lot of the Radio Master radios recently as well, and you're seeing it here on the Linus screwdriver box as well. You've got the LTG screwdriver up there. You've got the screwdriver itself. You can see in spot gloss, and they're showing you the bits down the bottom there too. If we flip over to the back, we have a message from the man himself, and then we have some more spot gloss just giving us some information on the included bits that you do get with this screwdriver as well as a nice little designed in Canada logo and all the usual nonsense you get down there. Now when you lift the lid you'll find inside this little nice LTT card and if we flick it over there you'll see it gives us all the information of the other bits that are available for this screwdriver as well and they've got a nice QR code there you can just scan it go straight to Linus's website the LTT store and you'll be able to go and purchase them they've got standard Phillips they've got metric hex imperial hex torque and speciality bits as well and I have ordered some extra bits with this couldn't get everything I wanted because it wasn't in stock but I have ordered some others I think it was the Imperial Hex and the Torx were the ones I ordered and we'll take a look at them a little bit more later on in the video. Obviously when we move that to the side we're then left with that big orange internal box. There is more spot gloss in here. If I just come up you can see the screwdriver there is in spot gloss as well as the bit holder up there too and then we have the screwdriver itself with those bits located in a nice little cardboard box. There's no plastic here, there's no packaging here, everything is basically cardboard, paper, all recyclable and that's absolutely fantastic to see other than the products themselves. Looking closer at the screwdriver itself I've weighed it and it comes in at 160 grams. It features a stainless steel shaft with gnarling up front here allowing you to manually rotate the ratchet yourself. We've got a magnetic bit holder down here, our ratchet control mechanism there which allows you to lock it like it is now, set it allowing rotation one way or reverse the ratchet there. We've got our plastic handle in the center and then we've got our magnetic bit storage on the top. Now this bit storage is based on the Mega Pro design and it will hold up to 12 of Linus's short bits but you can fit standard bits in here as well but that will reduce your capacity down to six. Materials wise everything here is really nice and high quality we've got a stainless steel shaft and all of the external plastics which you're going to be touching and the wear areas are made from Triax 1120 which is a tough nylon and ABS polymer. Now the ratchet mechanism on this is also based on the Mega Pro ratchet which means it's tried and tested it has been modified to give a much lighter feel compared to some of their other drivers but you've got that reassurance that it is solid it is going to hold up over time and it offers that two 220 inch pounds of force capability. Now the ring here in the center is what adjusts what the screwdriver does. So at the moment we've got it set in slipping one way so we can slip it clockwise, we can set it to the middle point which allows us to lock it or we can set it to the other point that allows us to slip it or use it as a screwdriver that way. The ratchet mechanism on this though has been reversed compared to the original Mega Pro ratchet so for instance when you push it far to the left you can now see that you rotate the screwdriver left or that is undoing and when you rotate it to the right 
that's for doing screws up or rotating it right as well. Now looking closer at that bit holder, it's held in place with magnets and there's two sets of grips located on either side so you can get your finger on and give it a pull. What you've then got is the rotating bit holder in the centre there which you can rotate and that holds the bits either side and as I've said what you have here is storage for up to 12 of the short bits so you get six pointing down and six pointing up and what there is is this little black ring in the middle that you can rotate that puts a stop in place to stop them moving too far up and down but if you wanted to use full size bits you can then push that down out the way and then you could slip full size bits into the driver. The standard selection of bits they include with this driver comes in this nice little black box again spot gloss on the inside or at least shiny packaging they are black frost fuss covered bits they are made of steel which is s2 steel if i shake them all out there you can see we've got various different ones we've got a magnetic bit three hex bits three phillips three straight screwdriver bits and then two square bits. Now as I mentioned I also ordered in some extra bits with my screwdriver as well. I ordered the Torx security bit and the Imperial hex. I did want to get the metric hex but it wasn't in stock. Now these are going to pretty much cover everything I'm going to need to do on the channel. We've got the Torx and we've got the hexes which is going to be fine for most quad builds, most repairs and I'm going to be using these as I test this screwdriver moving forward. Storing those bits is really easy you simply take them and slide them in like that and you can just rotate clipping them in you can push or slide them in from below and then they will lock in place and store nice and easily as I've said there is no proprietary bit here other than the fact that they are shorties that's been done to allow you to get more in but if you did want to use longer bits you absolutely can and you can store them in the handle it's simply going to reduce the amount that you can actually get on board once all in they store nicely in the handle and it's easy just to pull them out rotate and look for the bit you're after pop it out and then you're ready to go. Another nice feature is just how strong the magnet is in the front of the screwdriver. It obviously is there to hold the bit in place but you're not going to have any problems with this pulling these bits out easily in use and it also offers a nice amount of grab as well if you want to pick up screws or anything else you've dropped. For instance I'm able to pick up this socket no problem at all. Whilst it will fall off if I move it hard enough it's certainly going to offer plenty of magnetism to be able to pick up anything you might drop whilst doing work. Now just looking at the length of the screwdriver if we're talking in millimeters it is roughly 210 and if we're talking about inches if we go up to that side there we're talking about just under eight and a half to where the bit holder goes in or with a bit in we're talking just under nine. Now you might think that this product would have LTT branding all over it but it actually doesn't. It's rather unassuming other than the colours give it away. There is no logos on the shaft, there's no logos on the handle. The only place that there is a logo is up here on the top of the bit holder and that is very subtle and overall it's all been done rather tastefully. Now one thing I do just want to mention on this screwdriver is how nice the ratchet is. It's really smooth, it's not got big steps between each cog and it's ideal for general use on electronics, PC building, drone repair like I do here on the channel. I have used some ratchet spanners and screwdrivers that have quite a harsh ratchet. What they've done here though has made it absolutely spot on and it's held up perfectly over the period that I've used it so far. Now this screwdriver has been my number one go-to tool both here in the workshop but also whilst out and about as well. It is just so handy. I've used it extensively whilst building quads on the bench, putting 3D printers together but also just in general DIY projects as well. Because of the fact that it's able to carry a couple of bits in the top it's just a handy tool to bring with you. In fact it's even been with me camping because again you never know when you're going to need a screwdriver. Now if we take a look at how this driver is today compared to when I first got it you can see that there is some wear on the handle but it is very minimal overall. There is definitely some scrapes here and there in the plastic but it is only noticeable under light. There's no gouges out of it. All you've really got is some minor surface scuffing and it's nothing that's going to have any effect on the driver itself. With regards to the locking ring this is absolutely perfect so we've got it in the centre there which locks up the shaft and it still works absolutely fine for controlling the shaft and then if I move down to the shaft you can see there's some dirt starting to get into the gnarling 
but again, nothing that has any effect on the driver itself. Some minor scratching on that stainless steel shaft, but overall, it's held up absolutely fantastic. With regards to the bit holder at the top, you can definitely see there's some dirt there. I'll put some B-roll up just to show you that. There has been the odd occasion where I have ended up using this as a bit of a hammer. Yes, I know I shouldn't have done it, but there are times where you don't have anything else to hand and you end up using it a little bit like that. And whilst it has put a few marks in the end, it certainly isn't anything phenomenal. If we look then at the bit storage, this is absolutely spot on. I've had no breakages. All of my bit storage bits are fine. There's no breakages on any of the little arms. It works exactly today as it did when I first got the driver. Now with regards to the ratchet, I will say I do think I can feel a little bit of wear on it. It does sound a little looser today than it was when I first had it. And there is also a very slight amount of slop or play in the shaft that wasn't there when I first got it. We're not talking a lot, we're not talking anything that affects the use of the driver, but if I just hold the handle and touch the shaft, I can wobble it a little bit. However, the ratchet still works absolutely spot on. The ratchet has never slipped. There's no feel that the ratchet is beginning to give up. If I actually lock the driver, I can feel that little bit of sway there. I'm just trying to hold the handle as tight as I can to show you. There is, it's really hard to show you this. I'd have to put it in a vise, which I don't have to hand. It's just a slight rock that you can feel when you do it, but it's nothing as far as I can tell or nothing that I've observed that has an effect on the way the driver works. What you've got really is just a bit of loosening up of that internal mechanism. One of the big questions people will also have is how well have the bits held up? Because that is a big part of any screwdriver. Now, as I showed earlier, I bought some extras with it. I keep some of them in the back there. I also 3D printed this little case, which holds them in as well. This allows you to take them with you on the move. However, to be honest, this tends to be my bench storage. Hence the reason there's a few there laying around. What I tend to do is just pop this on the side and I pull from it as I need it. Overall, with regards to the bits, yes, there is wear showing on some of them. What we'll do is get in closer to give you a look. And you can see there on my most used bit, and this is my most used bit. Yes, there is some wear. Sorry, trying to keep it in focus to show you. Not the easiest thing to do. Let's get it there. Whilst there's definitely some wear on the coating, the bit has not rounded. It is as good today as it was the day I got it. If we then take a look at some of the others in the back, so let's get into the, to the Phillips. You can see there, it's had extensive use, little bit of wear, but overall, it's still fine. I get no slippage on it. And what I will say is I'm more than happy with the quality of those bits. All of them have had a little bit of use, some of them less than others. That big Phillips there has had the most use out of all of them. And you can see, as I'm showing, whilst there is some wear, the flutes still look really good. Looking on some of the other hexes down the bottom there, again, you can see some wear on the bits, smaller Phillips there, but there's been no rounding, no issues whatsoever. And I can happily say they are some of the best quality bits that I have used. I will honestly say that I think this screwdriver is a fantastic product. Ignore the fact that it is made by a YouTuber or a company based on YouTube. As a standalone tool, this is as good as anything else I've used. The quality of the product is good. The bits are good. And if you're looking to buy yourself a screwdriver that is going to give you general everyday use on the workshop bench, whether you want it in the back of your car, just as a handy tool to have, or you want something in the toolbox that is going to be a nice, quick and easy go-to tool, it is absolutely worth a look. I haven't used many of the others that are on the market. I haven't used the Mega Pro. I haven't used any of the others that I have seen people compare it to. But what I will say is I am more than happy with my purchase. And whilst yes, it is certainly not the cheapest screwdriver on the market, it is a product that has delivered well beyond the expectations that I had for it. Now, if you're interested in getting yourself one, there will be a link 
to the LTT store in the description where you can order yourself one. I genuinely hope you have found this video helpful. Yes, it's another boring video from me looking at a product, but I just wanted to share my honest thoughts on something that I bought with expectations and it is something that has delivered well beyond them and I'll be using this a lot more in the future on the channel. You're going to see it in all of my content moving forward. In fact, I'm going to be getting another one because I want to leave one in the back of the car because it's just so handy to have. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do let me know what you think in the comment section. Any questions, put them down there below as well. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons who do support the channel. We would not be able to keep making content without your support. And if you'd like to support us in the future, the links are down there. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.